everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Samurai Jack, a Battle Through Time Collector's Edition from Limited Run Games. Yes, it's finally here. I'm so excited. Their 79th game in their Nintendo Switch run. I'm a huge Samurai Jack fan. I love their artwork. I love their voice work. I love everything about that show. Created back in 2001 to 2004 for four seasons by Cartoon Network, but then brought back 12 years later. 12 years later by Adult Swim, which their last season, it gets so much more intense because Adult Swim definitely put more blood and gore into that finale series. But I'm really excited to open this up for everybody. I'm kind of scared because somebody on Twitter hit me up when they opened it, the plastic wrap actually got stuck to their box. So we'll slowly do this, but we're first gonna show you that card right now. They actually gave me two cards. One actually looks like it's from Flashback. I don't know if you guys uh, remember that unboxing I did, but Flashback is an old school, I think, uh, retro game that we used to play. It's only a platforming side scrolling left and right. And then here we are, the Samurai Jack, and there's Aku in the background. Man, I love the storyline of Samurai Jack. If you guys haven't heard about it at all, or if you guys want to look at it, please, I, I assure you, you're going to have an amazing time for watching this show. Finally, getting to the outside of the box, I am slowly opening this so we don't get any actually plastic melted onto the box that I heard from people who had hit me up on Twitter. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. I'm so excited. There's not actually a lot into this collector's edition. It is a nice katana sword. It's a mail opener. You have a CD soundtrack from the game, which is really cool. And then you think you have a double-sided poster and then the seven inch vinyl figure. And then I think maybe one or two little trinkets. That time portal on the top that you see is how Jack gets sent back in time. So that's pretty much how this game starts out. You learn a lot more about this once you start going through more of the actual show instead of the game so we'll actually see what storylines hit this game but looking at this box I don't even know if this is like an outer sleeve cover I can pull on or oh yeah oh yeah oh this is really tight on all right so oh my gosh oh 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 my god all right so looking at the outside of the box just getting into it I'm trying to take off the sleeve I have no freaking idea oh I don't want to put it sideways you guys see oh see like that like oh there's like a little like you open it up this way. I Three hours later. <laughs> oh, push the baby. Oh, there we go. Just it's it's little by little. One week later. The bottom of the box has Aku hands. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that took a long time. But I'm sweating and it's worth it. This box is beautiful. I love this box. I guess I could just like open it up for you guys. Oh my god, that's so cool, right? Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Grr, grr. Woo. There it is. Oh, yeah, Samurai Jack. Wow. There's styrofoam in here? I've never had styrofoam come from LRG. All right, so we got the game, first off, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we got the Samurai Jack. CD right there, bada bing bada boom. Really excited to listen to that. I don't know if it's the actual songs from the show itself or, or, or anything else. Oh, here we go. Yeah, some art cards and a poster. We'll get to that later. And then finally, should I even show it? The figure. First up, we're gonna go through these nice little art cards you have. The actual areas that he helps save the people in Samurai Jack. A nice little portrait, and you have an awesome little tree. If you've always been wondering what these spikes are, it literally is the power from Aku and like the darkness, which was the world created from. So that's why there are so many like spiky trees in Samurai Jack and stuff like that. It literally shows you that the darkness is underneath you. We are getting to the poster. Ooh, yes, the freaking art card. Oh my God, this is so sick. There is one episode I really like and it's all black and white and it's a huge fighting scene. I forget what season it is. It's later in time though and it's beautiful. It's it's artwork is just amazing. It's been a while since we actually opened up a CD. I love how this looks. Even the spine on the inside has Aku like breathing fire and stuff like that. Those are the tiny little things that I've obviously explained before, but it just goes a little bit farther for the collector's edition. I love this front side, and I'm surprised it actually only came with 10 songs, but other than that, I think the back side could have done it a little bit better, but the front side definitely gets me. 
So here we are opening up the CD. Let's see if we got anything on the inside that's pretty cool. Nope, just a nice red piece of paper. Oh, wait, you can actually fold it out. <gasps> this is what I was talking about. Are we, oh no, I thought it was all the, the words and stuff. Oh wow, so actually on the inside, it shows you like all these songs and the areas. It's not actually the song types, it's just the area you're battling in and the style of music that you're gonna hear for that area. That's actually pretty cool. Looking at this freaking CD, this is one of my favorite CDs, man. This is amazing. Look at this katana. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Look at this background for f***ing Aku. Oh my god, like I literally am freaking out. By the way, this is $130, but I am just... Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is really good. All right, so looking at the game, I love this front cover, obviously, from Adult Swim. That last season is definitely the goriest thing I've ever seen for Samurai Jack, considering it was on Cartoon Network before. I love this front cover. It has that figurine that we're going to actually show you. And then on the back, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They fill it up with Samurai Jack. Become Samurai Jack. You learn all the types of weaponry from the areas that you go to in the show. You learn that he travels for years learning from Vikings, from the Russians, from the Mongolians, from everybody around to get a specific mastery for a specific weapon. And I love that about this and the show. So here we are, we're gonna open it up for everybody on the inside. We have a nice manual and a little bit lackluster of an inside cover. They actually have, a, 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 I forget her name, but she's one of Aku's daughters. Um, I don't want to give anything else away, but there you are. Um, the inside looks really cool. Ooh, Jack is hiding on the, on the inside as well. But looking at the cart right now, I do like it. I wish they would have changed it up a little bit for this game. And the inside cover, they could have done a little bit more. Other than that, I really like this. I'm excited to get to the game, but what everybody's waiting for, we're gonna get into the mail opener as well as the figurine right now. So we're gonna just bring this giant box. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought. We're gonna turn it around. Turn around. So we got the Samurai Jack sword coming in hot. There we go. We're gonna put that down for a sec. Slowly take out the figurine as he does and should not be moved around oh yes there you go jack so we're gonna show you this nice little mail opener which i'm probably gonna replace now for the uh, other zelda sword oh yeah baby let's go oh my god this is fire dude i wish the stand could have came a little bit better yeah it's actual freaking metal <laughs> I was thinking it was a little bit heavier than usual, but yeah, it goes all the way. It's really sturdy. I love the hand blade. Yeah, it's the exact same one that he's using. Oh gosh, this is just beautiful. By the way, if you guys didn't know how Jack got his name, he never really was named until he got thrown into the future and met three kids. And if you guys know the storyline, I think you guys know that. But other than that, I thought that was pretty funny. So now getting into the figurine, it is actually pretty heavy. I do love his key. His key is the most widely known thing pretty much in the show itself. I really like the heaviness of this. I'm about to open up the actual figurine base. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love the imprint of Samurai Jack. It's not like smooth and sleek, but it has a little like rough look to the lettering. Oh my gosh, and they even added pictures for the portal where you can actually see certain episodes that he actually gets to travel to. All right, everybody, that was my unboxing for Samurai Jack, a battle through time from Limited Run Games, their 79th game in their Nintendo Switch run, and I got the collector's edition, of course, about $130. It's worth it. They need to make money, obviously, but I love this show. I loved it as a kid. I'm glad they brought it back 12 years later just to finish it out. Thank you, Adult Swim. The figurine has weight to it. It looks amazing. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything like that. The katana surprised me about the most. It had its sturdiness. I really didn't like the stand for it, so maybe I'd just make my own stand for it. That would be really cool. The CD is amazing. I love the music soundtrack, especially if they actually have the game music soundtrack. I'm really excited to see about that. The poster is really cool. They had both art sides from the game and from the show. And then the manual showed you a little bit of the synopsis and background of each of the characters. Finally, the art cards and the game 
Whew, what are you gonna do? I just was blown away. This was probably one of my favorite collector's editions, and I really liked it just because I am a huge fan of the show. But if you guys like this unboxing, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. If you haven't seen the show, I recommend you completely to go see it, all right? But I hope you guys like this unboxing. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Hubbalubaloo. I'll be streaming this today, actually, and every Monday, Friday, and Saturday. Not just this game, but every other thing possible. But I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. I'll see you next time.